Northwest Airlink Flight 5719 was a flight from Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport to International Falls Airport in International Falls, Minnesota, with a scheduled intermediate stop at Chisholm Hibbing Airport in Hibbing, Minnesota. On December 1, 1993, the Jetstream 31, operated by Express Airlines 2 as Northwest Airlink, collided with a group of trees in a forest during final approach to Hibbing, and crashed into two ridges just east of the airport, killing all 16 passengers and the two pilots aboard. <laughs> passengers and crew There were 16 passengers on board the Jetstream 31, a twin-engine turboprop manufactured by British Aerospace, for a flight from Minneapolis-St. Paul International Airport, in Hennepin County, Minnesota, with a stop at Chisholm Hibbing Airport, in Hibbing. There were two pilots operating the aircraft, the captain was Marvin Fallitz 42, the first officer was Chad Erickson 25. At the time of this flight, Ericsson had 65 hours experience flying this type of aircraft. Captain Fallitz was flying the aircraft at the time of the crash. He had failed proficiency checks previously in 1988, 1992, and earlier in 1993, but passed the most recent test in November 1993. Topic. Flight Flight 5719 took off over 40 minutes late from Minneapolis St. Paul. This was due to a late arrival and the replacement of landing light bulbs in Minneapolis St. Paul. The aircraft was further delayed when it was deemed overweight for departure, requiring the removal of one passenger from the aircraft. Topic. Crash Until just moments before the crash, Flight 5719 was uneventful. No emergency was declared. Flight 5719 was cleared for a landing on runway 31 at Hibbing, but the flight crew requested an approach to runway 13 instead because there was a tailwind on the approach to runway 31 and 31 was covered with precipitation. The flight crew initiated the approach procedure by joining the HIB-20 DME arc from the HIB VOR and intercepting the localizer at 8,000 feet MSL. This delayed the start of the descent and thus required an excessive rate of descent. The aircraft descended at 2,250 feet per minute and was 1,200 feet above the minimum altitude when overhead the Kinney final approach fix. The Jetstream 31 was not equipped with a ground proximity warning system that was required on larger aircraft. The aircraft continued its descent through the 2,040 feet step down altitude. The aircraft struck the top of a tree, continued for 634 feet, and then struck a group of aspen trees. Finally, the plane collided with two ridges and came to rest inverted and lying on its right side. Investigation At first, icing was considered as a possible cause of the crash. This was later ruled out as a factor by the NTSB. The cause of the crash was the loss of altitude awareness, this led to a failure to maintain minimum descent altitude for the approach resulting in an impact with trees and a ridge before the aircraft reached the runway. Fallitz was said to have a reputation for following company procedures and being meticulous with flight checklists but three first officers accused him of being deliberately rough on the flight controls. A chief pilot described Fallitz as competent but prone to outbursts of anger, and intimidating and provocative behavior with colleagues. Fallitz was accused of once slapping a co-pilot's headphones in anger. 
His previous intimidation of first officers was noted by the investigators. The concluding statement from the NTSB report NTSB, AAR 94, 05, provided the following probable cause for the crash of Northwest Airlink Flight 5719. The captain's actions led to a breakdown in crew coordination and the loss of altitude awareness by the flight crew during an unstabilized approach in night instrument meteorological conditions. Contributing to the accident were, the failure of the company management to adequately address the previously identified deficiencies in airmanship and crew resource management of the captain, the failure of the company to identify and correct a widespread, unapproved practice during instrument approach procedures, and the Federal Aviation Administration's inadequate surveillance and oversight of the air carrier. In popular culture The Cineflix television series Mayday featured Northwest Airlink Flight 5719 in a season 17 episode titled Killer Attitude. 